We're joined now with the executive director of the Tyler Type 1 Diabetes Foundation, Sarah Wilson. Sarah, how are you today? I'm just fine, how are you? Great, thank you for joining us, appreciate it. And so I know we're here to talk about the battle of the badges, but I think it would be beneficial for the community to know a lot more or a bit more about your nonprofit. Could you, could you start there? Yeah, great. So we are Tyler Type 1 Diabetes Foundation. We've been around since 2009, and we exist to provide local support, education, and awareness for those in the area living with um, type 1 diabetes. So we have three core programs. We have our Blessing Basket program, where we reach out to newly diagnosed patients, welcome them into the community, give them a basket of supplies they're going to need on those first few days at home that is really scary. Um, our second core program is our support group program. So we meet twice a month, um, and we get together, and we educate we build relationships with other people in the area um, that is a really great program and we have 75 people a month who come to that program um, and then we also have our diabetes 101 so we do free diabetes education for people in the area living with type 1 diabetes and school nurses and foster families anyone who needs to get diabetes education can come to us and we will provide that and if someone wants to participate in those three that you just listed how do they go about doing that yeah, so we actually, we have a website and a Facebook page. So um, TylerTop1.org or look up TylerTop1 Diabetes Foundation on any social media. Okay. Um, and then, so what is the overall mission of this nonprofit? So overall, we just exist to provide local vibrant support for people living with type 1 diabetes. It is a chronic, relentless disease. Um, and it is, it takes a toll on your health on your mental health on your relationships and those things are just really really greatly benefit by having local in-person support and who are some of the local organizations in tyler that partner with you so we actually partner with net health we partner with um, the local whataburgers they actually um, are a big supporter of ours we have a ton of local um businesses that believe in what we're doing and get behind us and support us. Red Baron, All Home Infusion, we have a ton. You can find them on our website. Um, but we also, every year, we're really excited to have the, the police and the firemen get together and do this softball tournament. It was started by a policeman who was personally affected by a loved one of his being diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and he wanted to do something to give back. And so we have this super fun event and all the proceeds go to fund our programs at Tyler Top 1. Okay, and so when is that? That event that you're talking about is called Battle of the Badges, right? It is, yes. So that's on Saturday at Lindsay Park, um, April the 13th. We start at 3 p.m. Um, and then they do a best two out of three tournament. It's super fun. There's this huge trophy that goes back and forth, depending on who wins each yeah. year. Um, it is a great event. It's so much fun to watch them duke it out. And uh, it, there's some fun banter back and forth. Mm -hmm. And anyway, it's always for a great cause. And we have a great time out there. So if people in the community want to come watch, where do they buy a ticket? So actually, you don't even have to have a ticket. Um, you can go on Facebook and search Battle of the Badges. We have an event posted there that has all the information. Um, you can also go to our website or um, our Facebook page and find the information and just come out to Lindsay Park and um, support the teams. And then there's also raffles. So um, you can find those online as well if you want to get involved in that. Okay. And then so the proceeds um, that are collected, are they, everything's by donation then? Yes, so um, they actually have um, all the money that comes in for um, donations that day or raffle or uh, I think that people that are playing on the teams have, have signed up and paid to sign up and, um, and all of that. So all of the proceeds from that day. Yeah. They come to Tyler Top One. Yeah, it sounds super fun, and especially if y'all are doing it, really it is. And they're passing the trophy. It really is. Forth. Um, okay, so is there anything that I haven't asked you that you want uh, to share with the community about the foundation or um, or Battle of the Badges? Well, no, I don't think so. I think we covered a lot. I just really want people to know um, type 1 diabetes, the diagnosis of type 1 is on the rise, um, especially since COVID. They found that there's been an uptick in diagnoses. And so um, a lot of people think, oh, it's not in my family, so I don't have to worry about it. But there is a statistic out there that over 90% of new diagnoses are in fam people with no family history. So this isn't something that if it's not in your family now, you don't need to be worried about. Um, and so we just love this event because it helps us raise awareness about that among first responders and among the community and it's just a fun way for the the firemen the police to get together and give back and we just have a great day 
Yeah, that's awesome. And okay, you serve as the executive director of this foundation. And so why is this, um, why is it important to you? So actually, it's very interesting. My family was the first family that Tyler Top One ever reached out to when they were uh, when they began in 2009. My daughter Faith was diagnosed as a nine-month-old baby, and the moms who started Tyler Top One, they knew they needed support around here, so they decided to start something. They were just a bunch of mama bears, I like to say, <laughs> and um, they really didn't know what exactly they wanted to do. So they were getting their 501c3 together. They were working with the local endocrinologist, and when we were diagnosed, that doctor called them and said, "Today's the day. This mom is going to." need you get up here and um and so they came in and they were with us from day one and really held my hand and walked me through a terrifying time i always call it my ground zero um it was just it changed everything in our lives Mm -hmm. And we went on to have several more children diagnosed, which is actually incredibly rare. Um, and then I took over as executive director in 2016. And so um, I have been on both sides of it. I've been on the receiving end and seen what a difference it has made in our family's life. And now I get to see that difference being made in the lives of East Texans all over. And it, it is really cathartic for me and my family because um, we, like I said, we've been on the receiving end of it. So it's something we really believe in. Right. No, that's a great story and um, definitely shows how much you care about the organization. So, OK, um, East Texas. So um, please try to support the Tyler one type Tyler type one diabetes foundation and then also attend the Battle of the Badges, which again, Sarah, what date is that? It's April the 13th at 3 p.m. at Lindsay Park. OK, awesome. Well, we appreciate you joining us uh, today and hope Battle of the Badges is so much fun. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.